Yesterday we talked about what is a writing prompt. So today I'm going to write to a writing prompt and then you get to grade my work and see how you think I did. So here is a writing prompt, and this is actually going to be your assignment um, for you to write tomorrow. So notice there's a lot on this page, so let's talk about it. First, it tells me to read the task, so I'm gonna read the task. Finish the story, tell what happens to Matt, be sure to include details to support your writing. Okay, so I need to read this and finish the story. So step two is read the passage. Matt's boom. His mother was wrong, it was not going to be easy. He would have to make new friends all over again. The first day at his new school was going to be terrible. He just knew it. Everyone would stare at him and wonder who's the new kid. The teacher would pronounce his last name wrong. They always did. At recess on the playground, he would be alone watching everyone else play basketball with their buddies. That was the worst part. He would have to try out to get on the basketball team at the new school. What if he didn't make it? He couldn't handle that. Matt did not want to move. All right, so now I've read the task. I know I'm going to finish the story. I've read the passage, so I know what I need to continue writing about. So number three, I'm going to decide what type of writing I'm doing. A letter, a paragraph of information, a story, persuasive, or something like that. So it sounds like I'm just finishing this story. So I'm going to be writing a story. So now it says I need to write it by typing. All right, so now I'm going to work on typing that. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just typed my um, ending to the story. So here's what I want you to do. This is your assignment. I want you to read my answer, everything I typed, and then I want you to see how I did. So the last step when you're doing these, number four is check your writing with this list, okay? So with this list, I want you to check and see, have I started each sentence with a capital letter? All right, if I did, then give me a point. If I didn't, then give me a zero. Now, if I just missed like one, you will probably wouldn't give me a zero. But if you notice oh, there's a lot of capital letters missing at the beginning of sentences, then you need to give me a zero. So if I did it good, give me a one. If I did not do it very good, give me a zero. Next one, did I start, have you capitalized the names of people and places? So look around and see if I did that and give me either a one or a zero. Uh, did I use punctuation? So I, did I put periods where they needed to go? Or did I use question marks or commas or apostrophes? So one or a zero. Um, have I spelled words correctly? And you might not know, but does it look like for the most part that my words are spelled correctly? So give me a one or a zero. Have you used the correct form of your action verb? So like Jan plays today, Jan played yesterday, Jan will play tomorrow. Remember, past, present, and future tense. So give me a one or a zero if I did a pretty good job with that. And then the last one here, have you written complete sentences? So if my sentences look like they begin with a capital N with a period and they don't just say the girl. The girl what? And then the last thing after you do this little box is extra things to check. So right here, did I write to the task that I was given? So I'm supposed to finish the story and tell what happens to Matt. Be sure to include details to support your writing. Did I do that? Give me a zero or a one. And does what I wrote make sense with the passage? So based on what it says here, does what I wrote fit that? Give me a one or a zero. So go through and grade me ones and zeros for everything and then turn it in so I can see how good or bad I did.